I am so sorry for all of you, really, that you have to stare at this. I really am. I want to hear it one more time for Marie Martin, who read the rules tonight. Every week, we're going to have somebody volunteer to give you a different view of those same rules. You guys who've been here forever, if you think you can do them in a positive way, come talk to us. We'd love to have you do it, okay? Okay. Um, normally, at this point in the show, I go ahead and I ramble onward about great gigs we're doing or did, and who got hurt and who didn't, and I talk about just how awesome we all are, and I'm not going to do that tonight. I'm not going to do it. Well, as much as I like talking about me and the fun anecdotes that are my existence, I want to talk about some other people. Performers, we get all of this cheering pretty much just by kind of asking for it, which is why I love this place. But there is a whole gang of people who never get this kind of credit. New people, I want to show you a little trick. Oi! What? The voices you just heard are the Creative Motion, Circus Freaks, and Open Stage Volunteers, or AKA the Roustabouts. Now, some of you may not be familiar with that term, so let me break it down for you. If you go way back into the history of circus, a roustabout was the non-performing member of a ground crew of a circus. Basically, they were the people who, well, put up tents and shoveled up after elephants. It's not a great job, but it's a lot of work and it needs doing. Otherwise, you've got talent standing in elephant poop. It's true. So, obviously, in history, when people go, can I please run away and join the circus? That would be fantastic you can give them a crust of bread and treat them like crap and there becomes a hierarchy. We're a community and we can't get away with that because they would lynch us. <laughs> you people would kill me. And that'd be the heckling. <laughs> but, thank you. Um, what we did instead is we came up with this idea to hell with talent, to hell with performers. We are all roustabouts and every now and then we, some of us step up and become performers for a short period of time. It's, it's a, a simple idea that basically said that we all have to do everything. I remember that the actual, the circus freaks, the guy, you know, the, the performing troupe that you guys cheer for when we say that name, circus freaks, <laughs> most of the time. Um, when, when we started out, we started out because somebody had to step up and do that job of being an ambassador for the rest of the world. So it just made sense for us to just kind of keep that idea no matter what happened. And a lot of times, the, the really unglorious job of, of running this gets swept by the wayside. I mean, TJ standing over here, he's practically a character. I mean, he's, he's, one, he, he's, he's, he's a performer in his own right. Thank you, sir. But we have people, let me give you a rundown at random, because I could stand here and we could blow right through the show with me thanking people. But let me give you a rundown of some of the things that come up at a week, on a week-to-week -week basis, just at the open stage, never mind our shows, never mind our other events. I'm just going to tell you about some things that came up here. A refrigerator needed to be moved out of the lobby. Um, somebody had to drive to Louisville to pick up a spotlight. Um, we had to rewire a sound system twice. Uh, somebody has to run the punch bowl and pay for it. There's so many jobs. I mean, if I, I, I could sit here and rattle off horror story after horror story. And the point is, by the time you guys get here, by the time I step up here to do my thing, it's all done. This place is clean. And, and yeah, Alex, Alex is doing that every week. But our people come in and go, how can I help? What can I do? And it gets done. I want you to cheer for every one of our performers tonight. I really do. But at the end of the show, when you normally might come up to one of the performers or to me and tell me how great all of this is, do me a favor. Those people who said what when I said that other word that if I say again, they'll say what again and we'll just go around and around all night. Go find them and do me a favor. Can you thank them? Because, guys, roustabouts, all of you, you make this stuff happen. We'll continually cross the lines, and you guys get your chance up here. But remember, it's her car. And look, a roustabout is going to fix it. Yay. All right. You want to just wait it out? Should we just wait it out? This is going to be so cool on YouTube. <laughs> so how you feeling? How you doing? Good? Yeah? Okay. I'm not going to bring anybody up here with that going, so we're just going to, you know, we're just going to hang out. Let's just, let's just chill. Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> well, I couldn't hear over all the screaming. 
All right, like I said, if you get a chance, and, and you're not busy running to the car to shut off your uh, alarm later, if you get a chance, do me a favor, find someone who helps run the show and thank them because there is just so many people involved now. It started out, yes, this was my crazy idea. It's so far beyond anything I'm doing, and it's what we're all doing now. And thank you for making my crazy, crazy Monday night dreams come true.